Hello guys, stay tuned to my Bali vlog part 1. Off to Bali to explore Bali's hidden gems and to create memories that will forever be etched in my travel journal. So all set for Bali trip. My belongings are all packed and I am feeling super excited to go to Bali. Bali the place which is unique and Bali the place which is unmatched. It's a family trip and we are embarking on a journey of discovery through Bali's mesmerizing landscapes and vibrant culture. So I am about to embrace the exotic beauty of Bali with my loved ones and I'm going to weave tales of adventure, love and cherished moments. It's a magical blend of a colorful culture, friendly people, stunning nature, countless activities, tropical weather, culinary delights, vibrant nightlife and beautiful accommodation. So we are going as a family my two aunts, two uncles, me and my husband. Bali is rated regularly as one of the best travel destinations in the world for very good reasons. There is something great for everyone to explore and discover. The mere mention of Bali Islands evokes thoughts of a paradise. It's more than a place, it's a mood an aspiration, a tropical state of mind. And we were getting ready for that tropical state of mind. So right now, at the lounge, having dinner. Province of Indonesia, Bali is on every travel enthusiast's list. With an abundance gift of nature, Bali is known for its alluring arts which includes traditional and modern dance forms, its splendid sculptures, its flashy paintings, excellent leather, beautiful metalworking and amazing music along with the cane and woodworks. It has few smaller but outstanding islands like Nusa Penida, Nusa Lembongan and Nusa Keningen which are loaded with adventure. Drenched in oceans and beaches, Bali is a hub of water sports. Addicts from all around the world fly here to take adventures in the most beautiful backdrop. Moreover, adventure sports are quite common here. It could take you to the heights so that you look at an island from a very different vantage point. And after getting tired from all this, you can reside in one of the most amazing beach resorts. Not to mention, Bali is world famous for its warm hospitality. And Bali is not going to disappoint you. Very good morning from Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. So we are now going to board the next flight to Bali. So waiting for a few hours here. Indonesia, an archipelago with about 17,000 islands, has everything to offer in terms of activities, budgets and fun. With the beaches on one side and the mountains on the other, it offers the best tourist places in Indonesia. With spiritual temple visits and never-ending nightlife, with activities that will have your muscles sore to spas that will relax every part of your body, this place is a paradise of contrast. So right now we are at the Bali airport and we are waiting at the immigration line. So there is something to enjoy for everyone over here regardless of age, gender or interest. And this airport, Bali airport is really so aesthetic. And this should be a must visit for every tourist who is looking forward to experience something new and amazing. So this Denpasar airport is the main international airport of Bali. So what you need to know before you go to Bali. Bali is the most popular island holiday destination in the Indonesian archipelago. It's home to an ancient culture that's known for its warm hospitality as well as exotic temples and palaces set against stunning natural backdrops. Dining in Bali presents endless choices of exotic local cuisine. 
after sunset, famous night spots come to life, offering exciting clubbing and packed dance floors. When it comes to things to do in Bali, your holiday can be filled with culture, nature, art and the spiritual. The spectacular beaches of Kuta, Semenyak, Nusa Dua and Nusa Penida offer hours of swimming, surfing and sunbathing. Oh, so this is the Balinese welcome. Oh, so beautiful. Uh, the Balinese welcome. Welcome to Bali. This is the flower for the symbol, the peace. Of the Bali. <laughs> can, can you speak in your own language? Oh, uh, this is the flower. This is the symbol of the Bali. This is the symbol of the peace. Must be good on the Bali. Is the no, no, in your language, Bali means Bali means. Ah, uh, Om Swastiastu. Uh, bikin bunga untuk simbol kita kedamaian di Bali. Selamat datang di Bali. So we were enthralled by the very warm welcome we received the garlands, the wreaths and also some gifts. How did you say? This the symbol good, very good. <laughs> Thank you. The sarong. Yes, this is sarong. You will find those handcrafts of the gods in every gift shops in Bali. From Denpasar to Ubud, you will find many things you would like to bring back home. Balinese signature souvenir range from delicious snacks and beverages to the exquisite handcrafted goods like Tenun Bali. If you are thinking of bringing home souvenirs, your best bet is the souvenir market at Sukowati or the Krishna Ole Ole. Uh, in Seminyak. So from the airport when we reached Seminyak, we were ravenous and we decided to have lunch and then uh, go to the hotel. Going to some of the most beautiful places in the entire world, we are spoiled for choice when it comes to exploring Bali's best pits. Now we have reached our resort in Seminyak, uh, the Mason at sea and from here we will be visiting the hot spots of Bali. But where to start on a quest to find the most exotic places to visit in Bali and that too a budget tour? Well, I checked it with travel tour operators at sightseeing agency, a unit of SKD tours and travels from Kolkata and they were very helpful in guiding me to some of the favorite spots to oogle at across the island from Bali's most Instagrammable places in Swanky Seminyak to the islands of Nusa Penida that will simply take your breath away. So for all your travel related services for the budget trips you can check it out with travel tour operators. I will give you the link in my inbox. So we were staying in one of the best resorts in Seminyak which suited every budget, the Maison at Sea and it was in Bali's trendiest neighborhood. So if you're wondering where to stay in Bali's hippest hood, from luxury resorts with private villas to affordable hotels on the beach, here's where to stay in the hep Seminyak hood. So finally at Seminyak. And this is the Mason ADC uh, Spa Resort and you know it looks so idyllic, it looks so rejuvenating, it looks so, so full of peace and tranquility. I love being here, I already love this place. Uh, room for the next four days. So 
So this is the bed, and here uh, there is a desk, and I guess this is the balcony. Oh no, this is the washroom actually. Yeah, nice, no? Washroom is quite good. This is uh, all the accessories are kept here, and the locker. It's the this is the wash. Uh, I mean balcony or yes. something. Yeah. Balcony. Connecting. It's the oh, connecting room. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then I know it. Ticket. I thought it's a balcony. Sure. No. Every nook and corner of this resort is so well designed and the setting is so very natural. As Bali is located 8 degrees south of the equator, you will find the climate to be typical tropical, warm and humid all year round with two main distinctive seasons, the dry season and the rainy season. Some of the areas around Bali's central mountains, the volcanoes, have several peaks over 3000 meters above sea levels. Up there, the temperatures are considerably cooler and there is much more rainfall than in the coastal areas. So we were actually staying at Semin Yak at the resort Mason at Sea. And for a quieter evening, you can enjoy the beaches at Semin Yak. And also, Semin Yak is home to five-star international hotels and luxurious accommodation studded with fancy dining spots. And a cup of tea, that too not good at all, in Balinese currency is 19,000 plus service charge plus tax. So you can imagine that um, in Bali, it is not really very cheap. It's quite expensive when you convert. <laughs> We decided to go to the Luhuron Bali to try the Balinese cuisine at Petetengit Seminyak and here we found that 
the interiors of the lohran was characteristic of the balinese designs the natural materials were used muted colors and intricate details so inside the restaurant the old world charm was maintained and we found the elements of the bali style in the centuries old style of design that's heavily influenced by bali's hindu traditions as well as ancient javanese elements materials which were commonly used in the balinese homes are thatched roofing coconut wood bamboo poles teak wood stone and bricks thousands of islands with different cultures make up indonesia so it's no wonder that balinese food is just as diverse so to complement your holiday experience in bali you would not want to miss out on some of its most popular dishes so we are super excited and on our way to breakfast area and after that we will be uh, going to ubud people who love to eat are always the best people and the only way to get rid of a temptation is to yield to it so we are now going to yield to our temptation and i feel that there is no sincere love than the love of food a nourishing breakfast sets the tone for a productive day so mornings are made for slow sips and meaningful bites at this resort the breakfast was both delicious and nutritious with a view of the pool side flanked by the two restaurants so i got creative and snap pictures of a breakfast masterpiece and this breakfast inspired each other to kick start a mornings with a sense of deliciousness so whether you are a fan of a hearty feast or a lover of light bites breakfast sets the tone for the day ahead so grab your coffee mug and spread your toast with inspiration a moment of delicious possibility Finally we reached the Aloha Ubud swings so there is also another swing at Tegalalang rice terrace so this was my first time trying a swing experience and i believe it's definitely something one must try at least once while visiting ubud Om Swasti Astu welcome to Aloha Ubud Swing and this is one of the hottest Hello. Instagram spots Aloha. in the world uh, this is Aloha yes. can you tell me uh, what Aloha is about so Aloha is about the hello so our company here only provide about the swing okay. you can have a seat let me explain to you okay. about our swing yeah? oh yeah So Aloha Ubud swing is the best swing in the Tegalalang area with spectacular rice paddies view agriculture activities coffee luwak plantation and shopping the Aloha Ubud theme park is located only 5 km from Arjuna statue in Ubud on the direction to Tegalalang and many important touristic attractions that makes the park very accessible to combine with other tourist destinations So I chose a yellow gown for the swings to take home some jaw dropping pictures from Aloha Ubud Bali. Nine type of swings are included the single swing romantic swing tandem swing libra swing adrenaline swing romantic swing the bed swing the bird's nest the chicken's nest etc and also the butterfly park. It was overall a good experience and a must do. so you can book this online so that it would be slightly cheaper actually 
uh, you cannot think of Bali and not do the famous swing photo. You simply can't. There are numerous swings in Bali, each of them offering different types of swings, different types of rental dresses and different scenery as well as a different narrative. In Aloha Bali Singh, you will have a fun day and a memorable experience. Also, a big part of the profit is used for charity as the state on their website. They also sponsor school education for children from poor families or children who have lost their parents. So here I was on top of the finest and groovy Aloha Ubud swing like a celebrity in a dream setting in the beautiful Tegalalang rice terrace in Bali with majestic views of a stunning rice paddies and several farming activities. While Bali is a well-known pictorial destination in Asia, the Aloha Ubud Swing is one of the many attractions that makes this Indonesian province a must-visit tourist destination. Imagine swinging from a cliff's edge while towering over a wilderness of gushing streams or rice terraces and clicking exclusive photos for your social media. This is exactly what the enormous swing in Ubud Bali is all about. An adventure in the middle of this greenish field which is also referred to as insta famous because of its beauty. Make sure to swing as high as you can and wear your best outfit as you would want your pictures to outshine every other post. So expect a pleasurable time with extraordinary beauty and different kinds of single swings, rice paddy fills, an enormous sky bed, two large birds' nests and a beautiful backdrop for your social media. The Aloha Ubud Swing offers one tandem swing and five single swings for people with families but for romantic couples looking to spend their best time in Bali, the Aloha Ubud Swing has two different romantic bed swings filled with thrill, love and excitement. However, at this time of the year, that's the first week of November, the rice fields or the rice terraces were not as lush as we expected. Maybe during the rainy seasons, the greenery is even more poignant. for a drink. Our next destination was the Tirtha Empul Temple, a one-of-a-kind water temple based in Bali. The Tirtha Empul Temple is said to be a heavenly temple by the local Balinese Hindu community.
According to tradition, the great deity Indra formed the holy springs inside the temple and gifted the water with the ability to purify everyone who bathes in it. The temple is devoted to Lord Vishnu who is regarded as the Hindu god of water and contains chapels to Lord Shiva, Brahma, Indra and Mount Batur. Make sure to immerse in the holy water, take in the breathtaking views of the temple's architecture and learn more about Balinese traditions and culture from the locals when you visit this holy edifice. So from our group only one of my uncles uh, took a dip in this holy water and you will get to see him in the upcoming videos. Sansakata words. Means in English what, what does it mean? The Sansakarta is the original. This is not uh, from the Veda. From the Veda, this is the Sansakarta okay. words. Oh, which yeah. god? Which god? The which god is sun the god. sun god. Yeah, the sun okay. god. Yeah. Okay. It is mandatory to wear sarongs before entering a temple, and the Balinese sarongs in different hues look so vibrant. One of the busiest water temples in indonesia tirtha empul is a temple considered sacred by balinese hindu community the temple has several holy springs which are said to have been created by the god indra and believed to be blessed water that could purify those who bathe there tirtha empul is dedicated to vishnu the hindu god of water in the Balinese language, Tirtha Ampul loosely translated means water gushing from the earth, which for the reason Tirtha Ampul is regarded as a holy spring. The Tirtha Ampul temple includes shrines to Shiva, Vishnu, Brahma as well as one for Indra and Mount Batur. It is considered one of the five most holy temples in all of Bali and is considered one of the holiest water sources in Bali. Entering the inner courtyard, you will arrive at the Jabba Tenga area, which is the main area of the temple. The holy springs here bubble up into a large crystal clear pool within the temple and gush out through 30 water sprouts into the two sacred purification pools. So lots of foreigners have gathered here on the day we visited the temple and it was a sight to see foreigners and the locals mingling together and bathing in the sacred pool so the devotees uh, the local balinese foreigners and hindu worshippers stand in long lines in the pools waiting to dip their heads under the water sprouts in a purification ritual known as melukat bathers start in the pool on the left side standing in the pool to the waist under the first water sprout once they have cleansed themselves under the first sprout they did join the next queue this process is continued until they have cleansed themselves under each water sprout so however there are two sprouts that are meant only for cleansing the dead and are prohibited to be used by the living for the meluka ritual so you can see my uncle with a beard he is also here to take a dip of the water sprouts Behind the purification pools are the final section of the Tirtha Empul Holy Water Temple called the Jerowan. Mostly overlooked by tourists, the Jerowan or inner courtyard is a pleasant place where people come to pray. The front part of the courtyard is dominated by the large water spring that feeds the purification pools. The spring is filled with green uh, algae and small fish swim among the reeds. Behind the springs are the large Hindu shrines. This part of the temple is nice to quickly explore. The shrines are brightly decorated which contrasts with the starched white clothing of the Balinese who come here to pray. As you exit Tirtha Temple, you pass through a large pool filled with koi fish. This section of the temple is walled off on all four sides from the rest of the complex which gives it a calm and relaxing atmosphere. A very unique yet incredible experience that you could ever have visiting Tirtha Empul definitely should be in your bucket list. One by one I've been losing a touch Long legs bend at the knee How your eyes betray what you think of me They're telling me that I should leave So in the Pura Tirtha Empul temple you can also watch koi fishes in a pool and the koi fishes were so colorful and every tourist was really enjoying this spectacular view.
so this temple is the perfect place to rediscover one's sense of mysticism peace and spirituality with its healing water cleansing and purification ritual Does it ever cross your mind to take part in one of the Balinese rituals during your holiday in this island of the gods? If so, feel free to join the ritual of purifying yourself at Tirtha Ample Temple, Tempang Siring. The splash of water flowing from chunks of rock filled the petrified natural pool is its main attraction. Located at an altitude of 700 meters above sea level, this sacred spring complex has cool and reassuring air here you can contemplate and cleanse yourself each natural shower in tirtha ampul temple has its own name some of them are classified as cleansing showers curse destroying showers and severe disease healing shower choose and adjust the shower that suit your intention before doing the purification So when you are performing the melukat you have to use a green sarong tied around your waist and uh, after you perform the melukat you must say your prayers and request before putting your head under the shower and last wash your head 3 times After melukat walking around the temple is highly recommended the beautiful carvings typical of ubud artist fills the entire structure the red golden and yellow color of the carvings are a graceful impression really soothing for the eyes tirtha ample temple is divided into three main parts namely jaba pura jaba tenga and jero one the process of melukat is usually conducted in jaba tenga 30 natural showers situated here that are believed as the holy water So this sacred holy water was built in the 10th century and this Tirtha Ample Temple is considered sacred by the community and worshippers take part in ancient cleansing rituals here. Nestled in the uh, lush Balinese countryside amid rice terraces and coffee plantations, the Vishnu dedicated Hindu complex gets packed with devotees. most of them foreigners on full moon nights when it takes on an even more special significance to them you might get to watch a ceremonial dance performance too on a full moon night indeed full of grandeur and magnificence Yes. Say, say. Welcome to Ubud. If do you like to Bali, don't forget you must be going to the Ubud because it's very 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 nice place. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. The Ubud Royal Palace or the Puri Saran Agung is the palace of the Ubud royal family making it one of the most prominent landmarks in Ubud. It serves as a cultural repository of arts, dance and literature. 
the ubud royal palace is best known among lovers of balinese arts as one of the main sites to view traditional dance performances want a deep dive into balinese culture then visit ubud palace most evocative tourist destination